What is up you guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Armon. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my studio and welcome to my YouTube channel, which is aimed at getting beginner and intermediate level DJs to take their skills up to the next level. Browse around the channel, check out some of the tutorials and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've never done a product review on the channel before, but a company from the UK called Hercules, which has a background in music related softwares, has asked me to do a, a controller review on their new controller, the Impulse 300. Now, full disclosure, as I say, they did ask me to make this product review for them. However, the only way I would agree to do it is if I could give my honest feedback on the product, and they merely asked me to compare it to uh, more professional level DJ gear like CDJ2000 turntables and see what features those have and what the Impulse 300 has. Other reason I agreed to do it is that the Impulse 300 is aimed at beginner level DJs. And recently, a lot of you guys have been sending me messages asking what kind of equipment should they use to get started. So I thought that's a pretty perfect match as this product is aimed at beginner level DJs specifically. However, it does have, as we'll see, quite a few of the features as well that you would get in a more high-end uh, professional turntable level setup. So it offers the best of both worlds. It also comes with a software that's proprietary to uh, Hercules. It's called D-Juiced. And you'll see that it can be set up with two decks or with four decks. It's pretty similar to tr uh, Tractor or Serato. And those softwares, I suppose, are getting pretty standardized today. So without further ado, let's check out the actual controller, the Hercules Impulse 300. So here is the box that the Impulse 300 comes in. And you can see right on the cover, they're not shy about this at all. Mix easy and become a DJ. So they're really marketing this at beginners or those who have never even DJed before. I think actually this could make a really cool gift item for somebody who's really into music and maybe has thought about trying to DJ but hasn't actually taken any steps to get into it yet. So let's get rid of this box. So here is the Impulse 300, pretty nice looking controller. And basically all you get in the box is the controller itself and they do include a nice braided black and red, good quality USB cable. Appreciate that they included that, that's a nice little touch. So let's get this fired up here. When you turn it on, it gives you a nice little flourish of lights across the pads and the other controls, looks pretty cool. And once it's done loading, that'll stop. So pretty standard for any controller. Uh, you've got your two channel uh, volume faders here, cross fader in the middle. As far as I can see, there's no way of disabling this or locking that out. That would be nice in the future if they do an update on this product. Um, if you're like me and you like to just do your mixing with the volume faders and the EQs only, you don't have a use for this and you don't want to bump it in the middle of your set. So you've got to leave that right in the middle if you mix like I do. And you could always put a couple pieces of tape here to lock the crossfader in place. Not a huge deal, but uh, just something for the future maybe. Um, one feature that I really do like is on your low, mid and highs and your filter knobs here. They've included the little notches at, 12, at the 12 o'clock position so that when you twist the knob back to 12 o'clock, you can kind of feel it click or lock into that position. That's really good if you're, you know, you're watching the screen or you're watching the crowd and or it's, it's dark and you just want to make sure you get to that 12 o'clock position. They've also included gain or trim knobs at the top for each channel. I like that as well because if you're like me, you want to just mix with your volume faders thrown all the way to the top and not have to worry. Well, you can make your fine uh, adjustments with the gain knob at, to at the top so that you can just throw those volume faders right up to full. Okay, uh, the jog wheels. The jog wheels are nice and firm, uh, feel, feel very solid. I really like that. Uh, one feature you don't have is, let me get a track playing here. Right, you don't have any light showing you that the that track is the one on or that that track is spinning or it's playing. So if they were gonna put a light into that in the future might be really good. But I really appreciate that this jog wheel, because you can adjust the tension on this, and that's true of a lot of controllers, even higher end controllers like the Pioneer XDJ, um, you cannot adjust the tension of the feel of the jog wheel, but it's very loose on the XDJ and if you spin it, with some force, it's really gonna spin a lot. But with these, they're quite tight, and I think that's much preferable. If it's gonna be fixed, give us the tight one because you're not gonna uh, bump it or jog it a little too fast and really get it spinning and then get really out of sync on your uh, beat matching. And then your uh, tempo uh, or pitch fader is here, of course. Um, some effects controls up here. And you also have all these pads. So you can do hot cues, you've got rolls and slicer uh, features, and you can also do samples. Let's just hear how some of these rolls sound built into a track. Okay. 
Okay, pretty cool. And there's also some samples that come with the uh, software as well that you can use for uh, doing some sort of live uh, remix, uh, remixes and build up your loops on the fly. That's pretty cool. It allows you to do some more uh, live sounding stuff that you really can't do on you know a Pioneer CDJ setup. And I've got to say that this has most of the features that a Pioneer CDJ professional, you know, CDJ 2000s would have. You've got your loops in, two, three, four, out. Exit, that works just the same as it does on uh, CDJ 2000s. And your Q and play buttons work in the same fashion. You've also got a slip mode. Um, and now let's talk about a couple of the features that are unique to the Impulse 300. And this is, I've got to say, this beat match guide feature, this is really cool. I've, I, as far as I know, there's no other company out there that's doing this. This is almost taking like a guitar hero concept and teaching DJs how to beat match. So the way this feature works, and of course you, ha you do have a sync mode. If you don't want to do beat matching yourself, you can just rely on the sync and that's fine. But if you're a new DJ and you're trying to teach yourself how to beat match, this beat match guide, if you turn this on, the way this works is, let me just reset this. All right. so. So you've got this track over here playing away. Now you want to bring in the next track. You press play. Okay, you can hear those are not beat matched. So watch the lights on the controller. If you're supposed to move it forward. It tells you if and then the light goes off once you've done it enough. And if the speed needs to be adjusted, these lights will come on either. So this light here will come on if you need to move the pitch fader faster. If it needs to be slower, this light will come on. And when you get it correct, this green light will come on. Or both lights come on and then they'll go off. And over here, if you want to move the track, it needs you to move the track backwards. So this is pretty smart. So what they're doing is they're getting the DJ to beat match, but they're taking some of the guesswork out of it. So instead of guessing, do you have to spin it this way or this way, the lights are telling you what to do. So it acts as a guide. So let's just try that again and let me rely on those lights and try to get the beat match correct. Okay, yeah, that was easy. Let's see if I scramble that. Okay, move, move it forward. Pretty cool, I've got to say, that's, that's pretty ingenious. So you can start playing with sync first, then you can graduate from sync mode to using the beat match guide. And when you get good enough to do it manually by ear, you can just turn the beat match guide off and you can just do it freestyle. Must say that's a pretty cool feature. Another feature that's unique to this product is this energy uh, concept. So you'll see on the browser knob, which is your, your track selector in the software, that depending on the song that you're playing, it turns different colors. See, it's turning red now. You can hear that beat's got a bit more of a grit, more drive to it, so it gives you a red color. If the song is softer, it'll give you yellow. The song I was playing before, if you remember. Well, it's still red at the moment, but I think as the song was ending, that had turned yellow. And so this energy concept is designed to help you build out your sets and pick a song that's gonna go in the mood or the direction that you want. Do you want the party to go get elevated and get a bit more uh, energy? Look for the tracks that are in, in red. So th this is connected to this assistant feature. So when you press on this button for the assistant, it brings up suggested tracks. And as you scroll through them, you can scroll through these and you can see other tracks. Some are highlighted in red, some are highlighted in orange. So it gives you suggestions on what track will mix well 
out of the last track that you were playing. So again, it helps the DJ to take away some of the guesswork and gives you a little bit of a boost in the right direction for planning out your sets. So let's try it. Okay, I've got this song here playing on this deck. Okay, there's two minutes left. Now I'm gonna use the assistant to load the next track over here. So this track is red energy level. Okay, I've, select, I've selected Tuesday Maybe, the Guy J remix, great track. And I know that track, but it was one of the ones that suggested, it suggested for me an energy assistant. I think it's gonna mix in really nicely. Let's try it. I'll use the sync, since I don't have too much time. All right, not a bad mix at all. So if you can do mixes like that as a beginner by relying on this energy assistant feature, that's gonna be pretty good. You're gonna start stringing together some nice sets. Um, as far as I can see, it won't actually necessarily su suggest songs for you that are gonna be in a comparable key, but you do have um, key information. So you can take a look at that yourself and make sure that you're using, um, it actually gives you the Camelot wheel colors. You can check out my tutorial video on mixing in key and the Camelot wheel actually, but it seems they've arranged the music with color coding and the names of the different cells in the Camelot wheel. And that's how you can ensure that you uh, also mix in key if you like. So if you rely on the Camelot wheel system and the energy assistant feature, I think that you can, even as a beginner, you can string together, together some pretty nice mixes. So. Overall, I've got to say I'm, it's a pretty nice controller. Uh, it's small, it's light, but it feels well made. Uh, this would be good for the traveling DJ for sure. And uh, I think I might use this to play a couple uh, condo parties and, and events coming up when I don't, I'm not going to have a CDJ2000 setup uh, provided for me. Rather than lugging all that gear around, I'll just bring this and bring a, bring a laptop. So, and the product goes for $250 Canadian. That's what I've seen online for pricing. I'm guessing you can probably get it for 200 American then. And so for that price, I think any beginner DJ should strongly consider this because you're getting a lot of value in terms of the teachability and teaching you how to actually beat match and get your uh, track selection skills uh, up to par a little faster. So uh, I think good job, Hercules. Keep working on this product and thanks for sending me this one to try out. I'm gonna enjoy uh, playing a few parties with it in the future. All right, cheers everyone. If you have any questions about the product, just ask in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.